Action! Welcome to Breaking the Cycle episode number... Wow, lots of enthusiasm. Ten. I like it. Number ten. What, you can't count to ten? Use your little fingers and toes. Get your little a fruit phone, abacus ma- out, whatever you need to do. But my oh. teacher said not to use our fingers. Well, if you can't count to ten. I use my fingers all the time to count. There's two. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do it. Speak into the microphone. Hello? Check, check, check. All right, so Break of the Cycle, episode number 10. Ten. Breaking the Cycle is a, li- is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man one day your daughter would want to marry. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn or think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. So when they eventually, and they will be, are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. Wow, you're a little squeaker. Squeak, squeak. A little squeaker. You're probably on the Facebookers. You're on the Instagram. You're on the main camera up front. So we're on several cameras here. This is episode. You're going to push that off. This is episode number 10 of Breaking the, the cycle. cycle. There's nothing on there to even go with. Okay. We're going to do a very serious way. Like we talked about this. Joke? Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. What do you got? Why did the spy spray his room with bug repellent? Because he thought it was bugged. You should have said insect repellent. Yeah, the, 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 you yeah, screwed insect. it up. <sighs> the jokes. Jinx. The jokes just keep getting better. Get better and better. Let me tell you. So, you know, we we each week we talk about some of our different freak. We have we have we call the freak code. That's our family core values. They're up here on the wall in this little picture frame up you here. You probably don't see. Them. But they're about discipline and energy and attack and mind, body, mission, listen, bed. create, win, confidence, protect, and freak. Being Ooh. the freak self every day. So here on Breaking the Cycle, we have a different oh, topic each. Yeah. No, I'm not doing a show here or anything. Are you, are you two done? Can I? Can I? Can we go back to the show, or you, you two got some other important, important business to deal with? God, what is going on back here? What the flip? Holy so many pens. All right, so so we have some serious topics I have. We talk about bullying. We talk about just being role models in general about life. We we talked about death just we a couple of weeks about ago. Creeps. Talked about creeps that touch kids in alcohol, weird weird places. Drugs. We talked about alcohol and drugs. We talk about all that stuff here. I think the last show episode nine I think was on death, right? The last two yep. last show which we missed one time. So episode nine was on death, and we're gonna take it to an even. Deeper, you're not on Facebook over there. Even deeper, more serious level, more than ever before. As today, we're going to talk about the, the very serious topic that's about having a motherfucking sense of humor Dog. and having some fun and making people laugh and not taking shit too seriously. Like finding the humor. In everything you're doing, like as as disciplined and as crazy and as serious as we are, we are freaking freaks. And everything turns into a joke, everything and shit. I thought I was bad until I met one, these two little knuckleheads. One time he said life is a joke. It is. It, it, I, so I said, I, I thought I had a, a bad sarcasm and sense of humor the way I could just talk shit all the time until I met these two little freak nuts and the, the, it just doesn't stop. It's just all day. You should, to live in this freak cave that we're in right here, in this this nice cave recording studio that we set up in our cave, you don't see around us. It's all dirt and trees and mud and grime and, and, and mountain lions and shit and, and garden gnomes. And, and, and what? Garden gnomes. And, and, and what? And, and, and. That's not sarcasm. That's just fucking annoying. Oh, this is that's. Not- Obnoxiousism. Exactly. There's a difference between sarcasm and obnoxiousism and annoying. Uh, uh, obnoxiousism. Annoyingism, right? Yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference between it. Can I? Can I say the difference? I love explaining stuff. No one can hear you because you don't. I love explaining stuff. Speak so the hell I, up. 
I love explaining stuff, so I, can I explain what's the difference? What's the difference? So, wait, what's the first one again? Oh, boy. You can get, we'll get back to that thought. We've got to keep things rolling here. All right, here. sarcasm, obnoxiousism, and annoyingism. Obnoxiousism and annoyingism. Go, what you got? So, annoyingism is that you're just being annoying and you don't even know about it, but the other person is even telling it to you. Obnoxiousism is when you're being annoying on purpose, and sarcasm is when you're doing it in a funny way. Mocking somebody or something. Could be. Actually, could be mocking. mocking is obnoxiousism. Yep. Unless it's like, no, there could be, you could do mocking in like a sarcasm fun way. Yeah, if you're not yeah. being like a dirt, like yeah, we like could have a, it. you could have like an unwritten agreement, like between us, like you could mock each other and it's like funny about it. You're not trying to be mean or about it. It's all for fun. But sometimes it just becomes like annoying like that. What he did. Perfect de- de- demonstration. Thank you, you for giving us. You always say not to point fingers Thank or you. look over somebody's shoulder. Boy, I will punch you in the face like a man. I won't point a finger. See, that's, thank you for, again, demonstrating the annoyingism and what was the other word? Obnoxiousism and sarcasm. Obnoxiousism. Um, Obnoxiousism and sarcasm. Yes. She's a scholar. Wear your face coverings. (laughs) So, as you can see, each week we, we would be talking about death. And even while we're talking about death, little freak shows over here would have a, a fucking joke to crack in between about it. Like, not that death is a funny thing, but it is a part of life and something you need to just learn how to deal with. And listen, learn how to deal with some things in your own way. Sure, there's a time for kids to cry, but there's a better time for them to fucking laugh and have some fun and crack some jokes. What are you doing over there? It's so creepy. Okay? Like I'm doing human emojis. Human emojis. <laughs> Jesus. Lazy. Thanks. What the hell? Sand. I heard some creepy people from the stands from down in the cellars out of their cage. Is Someone's, that the Russian or the garden gnome? The garden gnome is trying to break out of their cage down in the cellar. All right, so this is about humor, having a sense of humor, making people laugh, not taking shit, not taking yourself, not taking situations, not taking even life too seriously. Is life serious? Do you need to take it serious at times? Yes, yes. but you could take every single situation in life and make it a little lighter so it's not just so... Fucking straightforward and, and hard and but seriously, when gruesome and brutal and, and, and such a struggle and all the hardship and all the, the bitching and moaning and complaining. Like, even when bad shit happens, like the worst in the Marine Corps, if you guys know the worst that things got, the harder that it got of that, the shit we had to do, the more we would like turn it into fun, and make it like a game and talk shit and crack jokes. Like, we'd have to do miserable jobs, cleaning toilet bowls with toothbrushes for hours. Really? Like, not even on your knees, like sitting in a duck position. You know, like you're squatting all the way down, so your knees are going to pop out of the socket, like bone, like you're crunching down there. We'd have to sweep the entire floor of like a 200-foot-long room, like wide open bed, you know, like in, in Full Metal Jacket where all the bunk beds are. We'd have to sweep that in duck position with our toothbrushes, the entire floor. And you have to brush your teeth? Wow. It's good. It's cleansing. It's good. It's, it's, it's social distancing. Good. You should try it nowadays. Maybe. Don't you have to get a anyway, vaccine to go into the military now? I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it. That's going to get me upset. Anyway, I'll start throwing that's shit. Another, start that's another shit. episode. Another episode. Anyway, when he They said, did have masks in in, in mil- Marine Corps boot camp. Fucking. They're seen to wear masks like this. And they're going to talk about this. And he said, no, no. He's like, I can't understand what the hell you're talking about. Like, what did you say? Like, recruits just, exactly. Recruits like. Sorry, sir, I don't know what the fuck you're saying because you got that face diaper on your face. So it just looks like a bunch of dumb Marines. And we're not the brightest, we're not the sharpest, we're not, we're not that, we're about as sharp as a bowling ball when it comes down to it and it starts off anyway. No, we didn't know what you were saying when you were totally speaking perfectly clear. No, I'm yelling on top of that. Anyway, that's anyway, a whole. Anyway, when he said, when he said life is a joke, he meant it because then he just kept being obnoxious and annoying and he wouldn't stop because he tortures me with it. He uses it as you a know the shark rules. to kill me. You know the rules for bullies. Punch him in the nose and kick him in the nuts and sometimes ah. both at the same time. Yay! Both at the same time. Do some wacha kung fu I'm shit. And then, and then I want to karate chop him in the stomach. Okay, Stop okay. We need to get so to the annoying. topic. We, we did already. This, oh, yeah, this is did, the topic. This yeah, literally I mean, is the topic. You guys want to joke? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, come on. Why did the brilliant scientist disconnect his doorbell? He wanted to win the Nobel Prize. <laughs> They're ready for a 
That was just. You ready for another oh, joke? Oh, no, guys? I can't take no, anymore. It's a joke. Uh, 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 I know this is so this show is about having a sense of humor, but this is just getting freaking ridiculous. It's what do you got, kid? Great. What do you got? What did peanut butter say he was allergic to? Peanuts, since it's a common allergy. I am speechless. I made it up. I can tell. Good job. I don't even, I don't even freaking get it. But good job. Remember that tire and wheel joke I did a few episodes ago? I made that one up. You made up a couple of good ones. Good, like in a horrible. Like the gooder it is, the badder it is. Yeah, yeah we make up wrong words. It's gooder and it's obnoxiousness. And whatever else you Obnoxiousism. Said. Obnoxiousism, sorry. You just say obnoxious and add ism to the end. Obnoxiousism. I'm, I'm good at making words that make sense. Yeah. Okay, I, we got to talk about jokes. Let's talk about jokes. So that's really the point is, is learning and teaching like your family, your kids. Like Look. not if you're just walking around the house and you're the parent and you're afraid to crack a joke. You're afraid to talk some shit. And really, let me tell you here, like on a more serious note, like if you... Let's say, what was mocking. If you're mocking or making a joke towards My your kids, right? Me. And you're making a joke towards them and they take it personal and they get offended by it, your own kids, that tells you're a little fucked up. Like probably there's something wrong with the way that you're being a role model, the wrong that you're leading them or the wrong that you're a parent, the wrong way you're parenting or something. If I can't crack a squint, joke. I'm doing squinty eye thing to you like, uh, like we did when you were drunk. Like if I can't crack a joke. To one of these kids, and it, without and without worrying speaking. that they're gonna take it personal, like talking a little shit, having a little fun, and listen, we will talk shit with the best of them. It just comes natural, like it happens all day. You should see in the project, we do that for seventy five hours, but we do that all day here. Like we live in the project. We're projecting in this damn place all the time. What are you squinting your eyes for? You need some glasses, kid. No, because like it. it it's the topic because you said that if you don't make jokes and you have kids and they take it seriously, they're not going to think of you good. Like, like they should. If they take it seriously, then they, like if you can't even, if you have to like walk on eggshells around your own kids because they've you've created them to be so sensitive that you're like coming home and they're like afraid. Like, if you get the point. I'm scared. I'm scared. You should you be. Know. Wait, wait till this camera's off. Wait till the camera's off. Anyway, turn, it's, it's like, let it become a, a, an ability of yours, a skill, even a superpower that the worse things get, the harder things get, the greater the obstacle, the harder, not just the harder you work at it, not just finding the opportunity in those problems and those obstacles, but finding the fucking humor in it, finding the fun in it, making it actually fun, making everything fun. Everything could be turned into a game. We could be doing some weird stuff and... Like putting stuff together that we're doing. They're putting stuff together. We'll make it fun somehow. Or we'll just talk shit while we're doing it. Like we'd be filling sandbags in the Marine Corps for hours and hours. Like sandbags. Like thousands of them. you have friends them. there? Thousands of them. They were all the Marines. All the Marines are your friends pretty much. Thousands of those sandbags for hours and hours in the 100 degree heat. You're dripping sweat. You're hungry. And you just have to keep filling up the damn sandbags. And somehow you'll be having fun doing it. Making it a competition. Making it a race. Doing stuff with the sandbags where they're exploding and throwing all over the place. Even though they have to fill up more of them because you broke them because you did some kind of stupid shit. Or having contests to throw them. See how far you can throw them even though they're going to fucking explode all over the place. Just finding a fun. Finding a competition. There's nothing wrong with fun. There's nothing wrong with some little shit talking. There's nothing wrong with competition. It's all good for you. Thank you for that update. That it's a- great. That was deep. Okay. It is. It's true. It is. It's all good for you. You should. Like, there's nothing wrong with competition. There's nothing wrong with winning. Like, winning this should be a whole. This could be a whole different episode. I, I'm sure you weren't about to just yawn on the next show. No, 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 I was just breathing. I will slap the yawn out of you, kid. Yo, rule. You. Yo, rule. What is? Oh, the, I love who, you. Who is? Who is putting these these Mommy. lame ass stickers on there That's under funny. my name? Can't putting these lame me. ass stickers on our Facebook feed. Oh, Christmas is up. Oh, no. So listen, Never. stop taking shit so seriously. Stop being so it's fucking militant. Smart. Like, and we are a military fan. We are fucking disciplined. But why to, is it crying? To be able to have such discipline and have so much fun while you're being disciplined and find the fun, find the the awesomeness in every single thing you're doing, is a way to have a good life. It's a way to never have a bad fucking day. It's a way On to have that a note. You guys want a joke? Oh shoot. Well, February, March. 
No, but April, May before June. I don't get it. You know, you know, like March go forward, but April, May before June. Hmm? Ah ha 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 ha. Hardy mother flipping har. It's not how good you say. Ah ha 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 ha. Not ah ha ha ha. Yeah. What does that even mean? Ha ha ha. So li- I like get it. even. We do work, even when we're working out, when we're training, there's shit talking, there's competition, we're getting competitive, we're doing a workout yesterday, live, you can watch it right here on fa- on Facebook, Instagram, it's posted on, we did a live, full, hour-long boot camp class, we are talking back and forth, pushing each other, talking a little shit, having some fun back and forth, you know what that did? It made us work almost twice as fast, not even realizing twice as hard, moving faster, going against each other, talking shit, and... Then it comes down to like uh, offending people. Like, and if you, if you get offended, there's a difference between being a, a dick and, and just having fun and talking some fun shit like that. Oops, there goes the pen. So the pen. if you take stuff personally all the time, you got to look into, look into that. What are you taking it personal My for? You taking it personal because it, it's intended to be personal? If, if you have that mutual agreement between people, between family members that, listen, nothing is ever personal. We're having, we, we know that we have this unwritten rule of just, Nothing is ever personal. It's all just in like fun. Then you never have anything to worry about. You never have to even think about hurting someone's feelings. Their feelings are not going to get hurt when you're doing that stuff. Like that's the way you need to think about it. Like stop taking shit so serious. Stop making everything so hard and everything so difficult. And everything is just the end of the world. Everything is so serious. Everything is so We're fucking not saying apocalyptic. Any names. Maybe a garden gnomes. Snitches end up in ditches, kid. I'm not saying any names, just I'm saying garden gnomes. Snitches end up in ditches. Garden so literally. And speaking of, they have their, all their little jokes. What's your? We need some help here. They need some assistance. Put your jokes down in the comments or send them to us, and we'll say them on the show. Yeah, hopefully then we'll have some better ones. What else you got? Me? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I got some. But move! I need to like pick up my pen. So, at the shooting range today, my trainer said, ready, aim, fire at Will. So, I asked, which one is Will? Like, Will can be a name. You have to let the joke sink in before you go and give your in-depth. Oh, FedEx, yes. Your in-depth analysis. FedEx. FedEx. You got all kinds of packages. It's like, I think we have our own private FedEx driver that just brings all just our shit every day. Really? I think so. Like, they have one person dedicated just to this house. The amount of shit you two order online. We don't order it. Mm-hmm. We don't order it. You guys order it for us because we're, we're irresponsible. Yeah, so we're that was just a quick, short, and punchy punchline of today was to have some fucking sense of humor. Don't take things so seriously. Turn everything that happens Woo-hoo. into fun, into humor, so that you can... Have a good day every day so you you can just flow and have fun and look forward to interactions with other people knowing that probably I'm going to come out of this with some kind of memory and think the, the more fun you make stuff, the more memorable it becomes, the more you remember those experiences, create the experiences that your family's going to remember. And it starts with not taking shit so serious. It starts with yeah. having some freaking fun. So it starts with, guys. it starts with that. <laughs> so good for you guys. So good for you guys. So that is the point of today. Have a sense of humor. Make people laugh. Bye already. Have some sarcasm and all that good stuff. We got to get rolling. This has been Breaking the Cycle episode, episode ten. number 10. 10. Ten. Go ten. It's 10. I'm going to move okay. Tyson dog out of the way. I'm going to go hit the to stop finish. buttons. Anything you two freaks want to tell our fine followers across America before we head off. One quick joke. Oh, no. Why does a baby duck walk softly? Because it can't walk hardly. On that it note, should have been. Cut. It should have been it. Cut. Cut. Because it can hardly. No. Walk. Ah! 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 Children, talk about obnoxiousism. What is? Very, very normal children came out of the from. We will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No No excuses. excuses.